Hi, in this lesson, we'll be talking about interactions in virtual reality. Quickly to review, we know we can add objects to the virtual reality world and set attributes such as the position of the box and the color of the box. We can then animate those objects by adding an animation attribute inside the opening tags. By specifying parameters in the animation attribute, we can control how the object changes. For example, this animation shows a box moving in a loop between positions 1 and 3. So far, all we can do is animate objects. While we have several cool effects we can do, we don't have any way to interact with, with our world. So how can we do that? So introducing interactions. Interactions allow us to interact with our objects in the VR world simply by clicking an object and triggering an animation. Let's take a look at how we do this. Let's start with a simple animation that moves the box from y equals 1 to y equals 3. While we can set an animation to begin on a delay, what we really want to have happen is to have the animation begin when we click the object. We can accomplish this by adding a new parameter to our animation attribute. We add the start event property and set the value to click. Now the animation only begins when the mouse is clicked and the user is looking at the object. So how do we know where the user is looking? Let's take a look. We can add a cursor to the center of the screen to help the user aim and also trigger the animation. Notice now that there's a small circle in the center of the screen. This is the cursor and when you click with the mouse, this is the location that gets clicked. To add a cursor to our scene, we need to add a camera tag, and inside that camera tag, we add the cursor tag. So let's review the steps for setting up a basic interaction in VR. The first step is to add your animation the same way we did in the last lesson. Notice we are just adding the animation attribute at this point. Next, we change the animation start. In this case, we want to specify that it starts when the object is clicked, so we add a parameter to our animation attribute that tells us to start when the object is clicked. Finally, we need to add a camera and a cursor tag inside the A-Scene tags. That's it. Now the animation will only happen when the user looks at the object and it's clicked. It's important to note that each time you click, the event's animation starts at the beginning. As a result, even if you set the direction to alternate, each time you click, the animation still starts from the beginning point. With that in mind, let's go to the editor and look at some examples. Okay, so let's take a look at how we add our interaction. So right now we just have a box sitting there um, in our background. What we want to do is we want to animate this and make it so that when we um, click on it, the animation starts. So let's start by adding our basic animation. So animation equals, and we're going to put our property, which is position. And we're going to start at our original spot, so 0, 1, negative 2. And we're going to animate 2, 0, 1, or 0, 3, negative 2. Okay, and if we just leave it here right now, we'll notice that we get our basic animation going. Okay, but what we want to do is we want to add that click based interaction. So we add start events equals click, and then we um, put our semicolon there. If we run this now, we're going to see nothing's really changed. Um, it doesn't start because we can't actually click on it yet. We have to add our camera and our cursor so that we can click on it. So we do camera, and then inside our camera tag is where we put our cursor, so a dash cursor. Now once we do this, you're going to notice that I now have a cursor right there. Now if I click off the side, nothing happens. What I have to do is actually get on the box and then click and then my animation starts. So that's it. Okay, so let's take a look at another example here. Now we're going to start off with a green cone and we're just going to flop this thing over and rotate it a little bit. Um, so what we want to do is first add our animation. Okay, um, so again we're going to animate this time our property is going to be rotation. Okay, and we're going to start again at our from position, which is 0, 0, 0. And this time we'll just try going to something like 90, 90, 90. 
Um, so again, if I just go and run this now, we'll see what that animation is going to look like. But what we want to do is add that click-based interaction. So we do start events, click. Okay. And again, we need to provide a way for that click to happen. We can't just click on it now. So if I go again, if I run it here, um, I'm going to see if I just click on it, nothing happens. Um, I have to give it a way to interact. And so that's where I get my camera tag. And I add my cursor. Okay. And now it's important to note that this only clicks when I'm looking at it. Okay. Every time I start, I get a new click on it. Okay. If I click over on the side here where I'm not on it, I can click as many times as I want. I can even click over here. It doesn't actually start. Okay. One other thing I wanted to point out is our direction. So if I set direction to alternate, you'll notice that I don't actually get an alternating direction here. Um, every time I click on it, it starts at the beginning. So I click again and I go back to the start. Now I can do a loop like this and it'll keep going once I start and that alternates but it doesn't necessarily go back and start at the beginning. If I click again, it just goes back to the starting spot, not alternating directions. So now it's your turn to play around.